Hello, my sweet, awesome Pisces people. I miss you guys so much. Thank you for your beautiful energy. Wow. So I have a moon in Pisces, so I definitely relate to you guys, especially emotionally. So you want a soulmate reading. So I hope you're doing wonderful. Thank you for being here. I'm honored to do your readings. Um, so you want to have soulmate reading. We're going to ask first part of this video, how you're doing, what's coming towards you, what you'll be facing, dealing with. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate whether you're currently in contact with them or not, how they are relating to you at this time emotionally, what they thinking, feeling, what's on their mind. Universe, please step into your very clear and important messages for the sign of Pisces, for Pisces' highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Pisces? What will Pisces be dealing with, facing, and how to best handle it for the highest good? What is coming towards Pisces. Wow, you're thinking about union with your soulmate. This means weddings, engagements, agreements, soul connection. Beautiful, beautiful. Wow, you're waiting on them, meaning to see how they communicate with you, how they act, what they do, what they don't do. You're observing them, watching them. You have a lot of passion for them. These are all wands, passion. You have a lot of passion for this person. Yeah, you do. Queen of wands. But you're not putting your life on a hold for them, which I have to respect. Yes, you're thinking of them, care for them, but you're not putting your life on hold for them. You are taking care of yourself, your health, your family, your loved ones. you viewed by them as very attractive. This person is very attracted to you. And you are attracted to them. Look at this passion burning here. Wow. You worry too much though. There are problems with communication between you two. There's not enough consistent communication. Uh, so four of the swords are pointing down. So it's like silent treatments. Too many silent treatments going on. This person is not communicating effectively with you consistently let me see universe what's coming so they are heavily on your mind uh there are problems with communication yeah five of wands universe please show us more clarification more detail what's coming towards pisces what will pisces be dealing with facing and how to best handle it for the highest good yeah, look at this soul connection you have with this person, the lovers. You guys are connected from other lifetimes. So you were together in matrimony in other lifetimes. This is a soul contract you have with this person, lovers. See, silent treatments. So this person is not the greatest communicator. No, they don't communicate that effectively. they silent. We'll see what shows up from them towards you. They have, <laughs> look at this, this is them, knight of wands on top of you, queen of wands. They holding a wand. This person has a lot of burning desire towards you, sexual desire, very, very attracted to you. Yeah, you see, you're strong though. You're not giving up on them. You're not giving up on this connection, even though there are inconsistencies in communication between you two. An occasional silent treatments. Yeah. You sometimes feel hurt. Uh, because you feel like if they feel such connection like you do, and you know they, because you can tell by how they uh, communicate with you when they do communicate, and how they look at you when they see you, you're wondering what is going on. This person is going through uh, healing of Heartbreak. So this person has been through a lot of heartbreak. They're very cautious, careful. they also not good at expressing emotions. Yeah. You are guarded towards them. You are guarded towards them. Because they're not good at expressing themselves. Not good at consistent communication. You've been through a lot of heartbreak yourself. This person is helping you heal from heartbreak to have faith in relationships again in love you're helping this person and the person is helping you you see this person wants to see you so a lot of you will be uh, reuniting with this person spending time with them laughing this is good 
This is good. Some kind of reunion, seeing each other face to face, laughing together. This is very good. Three of Cups. This is you. So you are shown here. <clears throat> they view you as very giving, nurturing, loving, uh, taking care of others. This is beautiful. Very grounded. Yeah, you see, they need to show more reciprocity towards you. They need to be more reciprocal towards you. Yeah. So you are very happy. Overall, you are very happy that you met this person. Yeah, but you wish for communication to get a little better, more consistent from them. Yeah, let this person give to you. So it's okay to give, of course. It's good if you're giving them something as a token of your appreciation or affection. But uh, let them give to you as well, whether through uh, appreciation of some sort or uh, some kind of gift giving. Let them nurture you back in return so it's not unbalanced, unstable energy between you two they need to learn to also give whether through service or communication let's see what's going on with them universe please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of pisces for pisces highest good please universe the soulmate of pisces no matter what sign or gender they are collectively what is going on with the soulmate of Pisces? And how is the soulmate of Pisces currently relating to Pisces at this time, especially emotionally? What is on their mind? How is the soulmate of Pisces? Wow. So I see two very important extra messages from them. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you see. That's why this person is so careful and cautious and slow. Three of Swords, heartbreak in a traditional deck. This is depicted by a heart being stabbed with three swords. So this person is healing from heartbreak. Yeah, they've been through a lot of drama. Yeah, they're healing from it. They're looking at it. You're helping them heal. So they recognize that you are restoring their faith in love, in relationships. They may not tell you that, but they feel you're helping them heal yeah you see this is healing three of swords above their head this is you helping them heal restore their faith in love and relationships this person is going through healing yeah yeah they have a lot of passion for you this person is very frisky for you extremely look at this they are very frisky for you. Ace of Wands, extremely frisky for you. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this person finds you extremely attractive, desirable. They love your energy, how you take care of yourself, how you look. Let me see the extra messages. Yeah, Five of Cups. This person has been through a lot of uh, disappointments in romantic relationships. Uh uh, but they are willing to take a leap of faith with you. Yeah, they are willing. They are willing to work on this. They know that every experience is different. Every person is different. So, But they're still dwelling too much on the past. They still haven't healed. Yeah, it, they're going through this process. So they still have not healed. You're helping them. And time is helping them as well. Healing especially heartbreak from heartbreak needs time let's clarify this universe please clarify these energies how is the soulmate of pisces and how is the soulmate of pisces currently relating to pisces especially emotionally king of yeah this person wants to come in with some kind of solid offer but Pentacles is slow moving energy, slow. So they are studious. They study everything. They analyze carefully, cautiously. Yeah, they want to work with you on this. So three of Pentacles, they want to put work into this. Some of you are spying on you. Some of them are spying on you at work, or maybe they met you through work or they work with you. Somehow it shows that this person is maybe checking up on you at work. Or maybe they work with you. Something like that. Something to do with work. 
Wow, this person, yeah, they are stressed out. They have a lot of stress in their life. But who doesn't, right? We all stress these days. Fight, yeah, healing from heartbreak. Three of the swords are pointing up. This person wants to fight for this connection, fight for you, even though they have a lot of bad memories from the past, from their life. They, they know that each experience is different. Each person is different. They're not going to judge you based on their excess. You see, they have so much burning, passionate desire towards you. Here they are holding that wand. A lot of burning desire towards you. This person is in love with you, but they're not telling you. They're hiding it from you. This is hidden from you. At least for now, they're not ready to show you, or tell you how deeply they care for you emotionally. Ace of Cups, hidden love, unspoken love, secret love. They have a lot of respect for you, Pisces. They view you as an empress, and you are high standards, self-respect, dignity. Yeah, they view you as a very respectable individual, not chasing anybody, not needy or clingy. This is beautiful. Yeah, and once again, they view you as giving, loving, nurturing. So maybe you gave them something. Um or show them deeply that you care. See, you view yourself and they view you as single in this connection right now. So you guys are not really a couple right now, per se. You're showing up here as nine of pentacles. But this also means they view you as extremely independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant, not needy or clingy, uh, chasing them, stalking them. No, they respect you a lot. They, they view you as self-sufficient. Wow. Very good feelings towards you. <clears throat> yeah, the sun, the best energy in the whole deck. This person feels somehow that the two of you are connected deeply on a soul level. You see, like you are the two twins. Wow. They're very guarded. Yeah, they're very guarded emotionally. Very guarded. So this person has made some mistakes in the past that they deeply regret. They've made mistakes. Who hasn't? We all make mistakes. But they're learning from them. Maybe they trusted too soon, got involved too soon in some kind of relationship. They're taking their time now. They're learning to get to know a person better before they get uh, involved. So this person is learning, um, trusting, but they're very guarded emotionally right now very guarded let's clarify that five of cups and the full the extra energy is very important let's see let's clarify it so yeah heartbreak this person is healing from heartbreak let's see let's clarify this universe please clarify these energies the soulmate the soulmate of pisces yeah, you see, they view you as marriage material, hierophant. They also praying, hoping to move beyond their past. Yeah, they want to take action towards you. So they plan to take some sort of action towards you. Manifest something with better energy to be physically. Yeah, they slow though. They teaching you patience. So this person is definitely teaching you patience. Yeah. Uh, they wishy-washy so one day they feel brave enough to ask you out or spend time with you and next day they withdraw so it's like two steps forward one step back two steps forward one step back yeah very passionate towards you again major change transformation coming so maybe the way you communicate is going to improve yeah Maybe they're going to show more emotions, feelings. We're going to go into your extended reading, Pisces, and ask about your soulmate's current, true, long-term intentions, plans for you at this time. Anything they're hiding from you, whether it's on purpose or not, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, advice for you from universe, from spirit, on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, whether it's your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, whatever it is you need to know 
they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Pisces, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and I'll see you there. Love you guys. Thank you so much for being here with me.